Right. I present this video with childlike enthusiasm because I like visiting places where I've watched films. And in 1976, I saw the film Sky Riders with James Coburn. He was rescuing a family that had been kidnapped and been hidden on one of these monasteries. And when I came to Greece in 1978, I saw the postcards of this area, but it was too far for me to visit. So, I decided to come back 39 years later to visit Greece. A brief mention how these wonderful rocks are formed. They were submerged in an inland sea, but vertical tectonic movements 10 million years ago forced them up towards the heavens at crooked angles. Weathering and erosion took their toll on the rocks to produce these fantastic towering outcrops. There are now six active monasteries to visit inhabited by monks or nuns and it's become a world heritage site and one of the most popular sites in Greece. The typical monastery comprises a courtyard surrounded by monks cells, refectory and chapels and the word meteora which is the name given to this area of monasteries comes from the Greek word meaning suspended in the air. Originally in this area, monks lived in caves, but in the 14th century there was a lot of war, incursions by the Turks, and the monks wanted to escape bloodshed. So what better method to use than to use the geography atop of these pinnacles to compile settlements of monasteries. They were reached initially by removable ladders. Then monks hauled provisions and each other up in nets and the story says what happens when the ropes break and the message was God will replace the ropes when he wants us to no matter about the cost of human lives this monastery behind me like many of them is originating for the 15th century this one is called the Holy Trinity it's one of the most famous ones here because James Bond came here in 1981 to shoot the end of the film called For Your Eyes Only. And you can remember Bond climbing up on the rock edge on the left there and throwing a mountaineering piece of equipment which stabbed the guard in the chest and fell off the edge. So it's a very exciting area to be and I'm now going to visit the other monastery which was the first one that I can remember being used for a film. Thank you for watching.